Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. Don't break from reality in the Philippines. Um, this is an interesting one because somebody started a topic on one of the Facebook groups about what is it about other expats. I think they were actually trying to understand why there's so many things wrong with other expats. Um, and somebody was quoting on there, well, I'm not like this, I'm not like that. Look, it, the fact that you're defensive puts a question mark on you. Um, what I would say is look around you. Um, if you can't see that you're surrounded with 90, 95% of the crap from the West that are your uh, expat community, then you're missing something. Um, because there's a lot of people with mental health issues, there's a lot of people that are violent, drunks, drug users, child abusers, rapists, murderers. They're there and in large numbers. <laughs> Um, just because they don't mention it to you up front doesn't mean that they're they're not um, of a questionable past should we say um, I mean I know a lot of guys go there for a new life and etc and I have no issue with that as long as they don't go into their old bad ways um, because at the end of the day if you're known as the town drunk or something, you will never change that stigma in your own town. So going to another town and being teetotal and becoming a newborn Christian, um, I'm cool with that. Because you're not bothering anybody. But if you're a child abuser and escaped the West because you're just out of prison for your third offence or something, and you don't want to go to jail again and think i know i'll go to the philippines because it's off the radar um firstly it's not um i know how things get moved around things get flagged up before you even arrive uh secondly when you get caught i do wish they would stop sending people back to their own countries um i would prefer them to keep them in the philippines and let them know what a real prison feels like um yeah but don't get hung up because people say that a lot of the expats are bad people they are the, the fact is I talk about it, but I'm not a bad person. I'm, I'm in a community that's often full of bad people, but it doesn't mean I have to be one of them. But at least I recognize the fact they exist. Um, which is why I always say try to be better than everybody else. A lot of the time the standards are so low it's not hard. <laughs> but the, the other side of that being that you're trying to improve um, how we're seen overseas. Um, I go to Spain, um, it's funny, uh, Benidorm, Benidorm's just up the road from me and I've got friends that go there to look at the British tourists. Now bear in mind, these people are British, <laughs> they just live in a nicer part, but it's like going through a safari park to them. <laughs> they, they take their people visiting them to go and look at the tourists and the state they get in. Um, with their unlimited alcohol, etc., etc., they go and watch them. Um, I really don't like the Philippines getting to that sort of level, um, but you got to bear in mind a lot of the time that's how Filipinos see us. They look and they see the expectation of a violent drunk, the expectation of somebody who abuses their partners, etc., because they see it because um, it's a bit like good relationships the media doesn't focus on good relationships people don't focus on good relationships nobody turns around and say you, you know what I've got a bit of a gossip those people down there they're really happy they want to know oh they were arguing last night uh, their husband come in late blah 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 that's what they're looking for um, and that's why I say be realistic you know this stuff goes on all the time um 
I don't agree with it, but at the same time, I'm aware I can change it. You know, I can change the way I am. I, I'll try to do the complete opposite as of um, the, the way a lot of people act and think. But at the same time, I'm still aware those people will still exist um, long after I'm gone because it's just one of those things. But don't sit there in a bubble assuming everybody's great around you because um, let's be honest, you don't know them.